In a high-profile case that has captivated New York City, Mayor Eric Adams has officially pleaded not guilty to five criminal charges, including bribery, wire fraud, and soliciting illegal foreign campaign donations. Clad in a dark blue suit, Adams made his plea in front of Magistrate Judge Catherine Parker, stating emphatically, I am not guilty, Your Honor. The 64-year-old mayor was indicted earlier this week following accusations that he accepted illegal campaign contributions and enjoyed luxury travel benefits from Turkish businessmen and officials. These benefits were allegedly exchanged for leveraging his influence as mayor. Adams, however, holds firm in his assertion of innocence, urging the public to refrain from judgment until he presents his defense. I adhere to the rules and federal laws, Adams declared at a news conference following his court appearance. He emphasized, I do not do anything that's going to participate in illegal campaign activity. Upon entering the court, Adams acknowledged reporters with a confident thumbs up, signaling his determination to fight the charges. Despite these allegations, Adams has been released on bail, though Judge Parker has stipulated that he cannot discuss the specifics of the case with witnesses. He is, however, permitted to engage with them on business or family matters. If convicted, Adams could face a daunting sentence of up to 45 years in prison. Calls for his resignation have been growing louder, even from within his own party. Yet Adams remains resolute in his decision to continue serving as mayor. According to the indictment, Adams' alleged misconduct dates back to 2014 when he served as Brooklyn Borough President. The 57-page document claims he pressured New York City Fire Department officials to approve a Turkish consulate building without conducting a safety inspection in return for perks such as discounted flights, luxury accommodations, and meals. Additionally, he is accused of misappropriating $10 million in public funds and using straw donors to sidestep campaign finance limits by accepting illegal foreign donations and pairing them with public funds earmarked for small-dollar contributions from city residents. Adams's next court appearance is scheduled for October 2nd. Despite the severe charges, he maintains his commitment to his mayoral duties. However, pressure mounts from Democratic leaders at both state and federal levels for his resignation. New York Governor Kathy Hochul possesses the authority to remove Adams from office and has indicated she will need time to thoroughly review the indictment. Further complicating matters, Adams could be ousted by an inability committee, likely composed of several city officials who oppose him. His arraignment comes amidst ongoing federal investigations into his administration. Recent high-profile resignations within his team, including the police commissioner, health commissioner, and school's chancellor, David Banks, have only added to the turmoil. As the legal battles ensue, one thing remains clear. The eyes of New York are firmly fixed on Mayor Eric Adams.